Welcome friends on Sahaj Shikshan YouTube channel. We are going to take the question answers of standard 8 general science subject of chapter number 14 measurement and effects of heat. Question number 1. Whom should I pair with? Here is the answer. A. Temperature of healthy human body. Answer is 98.6 Fahrenheit. B. Boiling point of water. Answer is 4 number 212 Fahrenheit. C. Room temperature 296 Kelvin. D. Freezing point of water 0 degree Celsius. For this question, here are total answers. Next question is Who is telling the truth? Who is telling the truth? The temperature of a substance is measured in joules. Answer is this sentence is not correct as heat energy is measured in joules. Temperature is not measured in joules. B. Heat flows from an object at higher temperature to an object at lower temperature. This sentence is correct as heat energy flows from an object at higher temperature to an object at lower temperature. C. Joule is the unit of heat. This sentence is correct as Joule is the unit of heat. D. Objects contract on heating. This sentence is not correct as objects expand, not contract on heating. E. Atoms of a solid are free. This sentence is not correct as atoms of a solid are closely packed due to force attracting among them. F. The average kinetic energy of atoms in a hot object is less than the average kinetic energy of atoms in cold object. This sentence is also not correct as average kinetic energy of atoms in a hot object is greater than average kinetic energy of atoms in a cold object. Question C. You will find it if you search. A thermometer is used to measure temperature. Answer is temperature. Thermometer used to measure temperature. The apparatus used to measure heat is called as calorimeter. Answer is calorimeter. The temperature is the measure of the blank kinetic energy of atoms in a substance. Answer is average kinetic energy. Temperature is the measure of the average kinetic energy of the atoms in substance. D. The heat contained in a substance is the measure of the total kinetic energy of atoms in the substance. Question 2. Nishiganda kept a vessel containing all the ingredients for making tea in a solar cooker. Shivani kept a similar vessel on stove. Whose tea will be ready first and why? Answer is easy because Shivani's tea will be ready and prepared first because stove is fast. Stove will create fast heat. In Shivani's case, the intensity of flame that is contact with the vessel is extremely high due to which the flow of heat into the vessel containing the water will be faster. Thus, the time taken for the water to boil will be less. Hence, preparing tea in this case will be faster and convenient. In the case of Nishiganda, who is using solar light? The intensity of radiation that reaches the vessel is not as high in the comparison to stove's flames. Thus, flow of heat will be lower and slower in this case and the time taken to reach the boiling temperature of the tea will be more. Hence, tea prepared through this method would be at slower rate. Question number 3. Write brief answers. Question A. Describe a clinical thermometer. How does it differ 
from the thermometer used in a laboratory. Clinical thermometer. Clinical thermometers are mostly used at homes. A clinical thermometer has a glass tube with bulb at the end of to measure temperature and it is closed at other end. The bulb and some portion of the glass tube is filled with thermometric liquid such as mercury or alcohol. The rest of the volume of the tube has vacuum in it. There is a kink toward the end of the glass tube which keeps the thermometric liquid intact once it is removed from the hot body that is under observation. Such thermometers are basically used to measure the temperature of a human body. A clinical thermometer has temperature range of 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius only. Now here is a difference difference between thermometer used in laboratory and clinical clinical thermometer is used at homes it is basically used to measure the body temperature of humans and laboratory thermometer is particularly used to measuring the temperature of all things excluding human body clinical thermometer has temperature range 35 degrees celsius to 42 degrees celsius because human temperature is nearly 37 degrees Celsius. A laboratory thermometer has a temperature range of minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. Third difference is in clinical thermometer there is a kink in clinical thermometer. In laboratory thermometer there does not have a kink. Third B Question, what is the difference between heat and temperature? Very basic difference, what are their units? The heat is a form of energy which makes us feel hot or cold. It is like a kinetic energy, potential energy. It is a form of energy. Heat is a form of energy. And temperature, it measures the degree of hotness. Temperature means degree of hotness or coldness of a particular object. The unit of heat is joules. It is measured in joules. Temperature, it is measured in Kelvin, degree Celsius, Fahrenheit. Question third C. Question is explain the construction of calorimeter. Draw the necessary figure. Very easy. You can extract answer from the textbook. Construction of calorimeter. It contains a metallic vessel and stirrers that are made up of copper or aluminium. Here is a diagram you can see here is stirrer. The vessel is kept inside a wooden jacket that generates heat and contains heat insulating materials in it. The outer wooden jacket acts as heat shield and reduces the loss of heat from the inner vessel. The outer jacket has an opening through which the thermometer with mercury is inserted inside the calorimeter. Here is a diagram, here is a thermometer inserted, it is an outer vessel and it is an inner vessel to isolate insulate. Third question is explain why rails have gaps at specific distances. Answer, it is a known fact that all solids tend to expand on heating. We all know that all solid materials expand when you give them heat as rail lines are made up of steel they tend to expand during the summers and contract in winters due to difference in temperature however these expansion and contraction can cause sagging and bending of rail tracks which could derail the trains that run on them thus the rails are provided with gaps at specific distances so as to prevent this bending of rails and avoid derailing of trains. These spaces get closer in summer and become wider in winter. So we avoid the all rail accidents. Question number E. Explain with the help of formulae the expansion coefficients of liquid and gas. The formulae for the expansion coefficient of liquid and gas is discussed below. 
v2 is equal to v1 in bracket 1 plus beta delta t change in temperature or beta is equal to v2 minus v1 upon v1 means 1 in to 1 upon delta t from the above formula we can say that a liquid does not have a definite shape but it has definite volume the volumetric expansion coefficient for a liquid beta is defined as fractional change in the volume of a liquid per degree celsius change in temperature from this we can derive the formula a gas does not have a fixed volume the expansion of gas is measured by keeping its pressure constant this volumetric expansion coefficient is called the constant pressure expansion here delta t is the change in temperature and v1 and v2 are the initial and final volumes of the gas at the constant pressure beta is the constant pressure expansion coefficient of the gas question number four the examples we can solve all examples solve the following examples what must be the temperature in fahrenheit so that it will be twice its value in degree celsius here is the question what is the temperature should be to it twice its value in degree celsius answer is let temperature in degree celsius be t we define celsius temperature in t so the temperature in fahrenheit what will be 2t because it is explained in example now we know we know this formula students we know this formula v of minus 32 upon 9 is equal to cy5 we rearrange this formula we put f fahrenheit is equal to 2t we put this and we get t is equal to 160 degree celsius therefore temperature in fahrenheit will be 2t means 320 fahrenheit Question number two, a bridge is made from 20 meter long iron rods at the temperature 18 degree Celsius. The distance between two roads is 0.4 centimeter. Up to what temperature will bridge be in a good shape? Now answer is we given the length of the iron rod is 20 meter means 2000 centimeter. We convert all in same units at the 18 degree Celsius. The distance between length of two roads is 0.4 centimeter. The temperature coefficient of linear expansion of iron is 11.5 into 10 raised to minus 6 per degree Celsius. The bridge will be in proper and in good shape until both the roads expand by 0.2 centimeter due to increasing temperature. Let the temperature be T. Both the roads expand by 0.2 cm, that is, the total expansion of road is 0.4 cm. Using the formula for linear expansion of solids, we have delta I upon I is equal to alpha 1 into delta T. We have given change 0.4 cm upon total 2000 cm length is equal to we put coefficient expansion value and t minus 16 change in 16 degree celsius nearly now we get the t is equal to 35.4 degree celsius you can solve yourself this example it is very easy question C example C at 15 degrees Celsius the height of Eiffel Tower is 3 to 4 meter if it is made up of iron what will be the increase in length in centimeter at 30 degrees Celsius we have to point here temperature changes how much height will change of Eiffel Tower height of Eiffel Tower here given at 15 degrees Celsius is 32,400 centimeter that we know the temperature coefficient of linear expansion of iron is and change in temperature is 30 degree celsius minus 15 degree celsius is equal to 15 degree celsius the change in length is using the formula for linear expansion of solids we have change in length upon total length is equal to 
alpha 1 into delta t we put all values and find change in length is equal to 5.6 centimeter d example d two substances a and b have specific heats c and 2c respectively if a and b are given q and 4q amount of heat the respectively the change in temperature is the same if the mass of a is m what is the mass of b we have to find mass of b let the mass of b m let the change in temperature b t for both bodies a and b the amount of heat in the body is described as q is equal to m c into delta t for body a q is equal to m c t t is equal to q upon m c for body b we put all values for body b 4q is equal to m into 2c into t here are we have given the values we put all values for body b then from 1 equation 1 t is equal to q upon mc and when we equate both the equations we get m body b mass is equal to 2m twice the mass of the body a Example number E, when a substance having mass 3 kg receives 600 calorie of heat, its temperature increases by 10 degrees Celsius. What is the specific heat of the substance? We have to find the specific heat of the substance. Let the specific heat capacity of the substance be C. We here assume the specific heat capacity of substance is C. We know the mass of substance M is equal to 3 kg is equal to 300 3000 gram heat given to the substance is equal to q is equal to 600 calories increase in the temperature of the substance is 10 degrees celsius all values are from given example now the amount of heat in the body is given as equal to q is equal to m c delta t c is equal to q upon m into delta t we put all values then we get the answer is equal to point not not 33 calorie per gram degree celsius so students here we all solve the question answers from chapter 14 we hope you like this video please like subscribe and share this video so that we will get all other exercise for you thank you for watching